for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Mad Ultimate Team video. And today I'm going to be going over how to get a free 98 player and how to complete these house rules, my tips and tricks for the house rules, and also what player I think you guys should choose. Now, before I get into the video, first thing, as far as the giveaway from last video, I know you guys are all waiting for who won that giveaway. So what we're going to be doing is I'll probably be hitting 2K subs tonight. When I hit 2K subs tonight, I'll randomize it. So you'll either find out the winner on Twitter tonight or tomorrow on YouTube, depending on what platform you use. So I recommend you go follow me on Twitter. To find out later i think this twitter i think this giveaway i'm gonna keep exclusive to youtube and the next giveaway is gonna be a mix of youtube and twitter probably how i'll do it so follow me on twitter at poodle underscore gaming underscore to find out the winner of the giveaway probably tonight or tomorrow morning depending on whenever i hit 2k that's what that i said either 2k or 300 likes we're getting up there in likes we haven't hit it yet so i'll probably stick to 2k so tonight when i hit it or tomorrow morning but by the way guys thank you for all the support also that is crazy that we'll be hitting 2k that is literally a month ago i tweeted out if I don't know if you guys saw it. Thank you guys so much for 200 subs. I'm loving the growth. That was a month ago. Just about. And I missed a week and a half with LA and vacationing. So, it was even less than a month ago in my eyes. But anyways. Let's get right into the video. So, wait. Call to action. Make sure to like. As per usual, boys. Comment down below. 20k. As per usual. We get to 150 likes. You, I give someone 22 people 20k. So, that's 40k total. We have not hit it yet. And like I said, you guys have about 48 hours to maybe 72 to do it because I can't give you guys weeks that I'm not going back. So you guys got to hit it. And then we do it. We've hit it before. We have. But we haven't hit it recently. So that's it, guys. And make sure to like, comment, and make sure to sub. Let's get us to 2K by tonight. It would mean it would mean so much to me. Let's get to 2K by tonight. Anyway, let's get into the video. That was a long intro. All right. So heading into the house rules. We got... It's taken a while to get into it. All right. We got the play stock. See, I'm a fan of this one. It's interesting. So choose your play wisely. There's no audibles or hot rules here. Don't think about moving your defender pre-snap either. You'll have just two minutes per quarter this time. So you need to change up your play call strategy to score to win. So the way this changes it, it makes some of the most competitive players slightly less competitive. Not by much because the best players are going to be good at the game no matter what. Now, this makes the cheeseheads really bad at the game. So the guys that come out every play on defense in some pre-aligned nano blitz defense every single play... They can't do that, so their cheese blitzes won't work anymore. Their blitzes are going to have to be stock. Not as easy anymore. Your cross manning, all that other stuff, getting guys in position, not going to work. So you have to run play stock. So people might not know how to play Madden stock. And I'm really good at playing Madden stock because prior to this year, I never really used to. I used to just kind of play just chill, just to play. So I'm, I'm, I'm used to running Madden stock. So like I know how to do both. I never started off really competitive. So I'm, I'll be pretty, oh, this one will be fine for me. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet just because of time, time constraints and making videos and school and stuff. But... Definitely a good one. Now the way I'd go about this, you know what? You're gonna want to call play with all good routes. Like you can't, you can't call, you can't call plays that you're used to. Like, let's say, I mean, patch sale, whatever. People still use that one, but you can't call plays with. You need a play that has a little bit of everything. So you need a deep, an under, and a middle route, right? As per usual. Now you can't do things like when you have the the deep corner to the left and you have the guy going under and the guy running on a streak, where you completely break defenses. All that stuff's gone. Like you can't, you can't audible to a crosser. So if you like crossers, you better have a play with built-in crosser. You're gonna have to pick plays that have. Or if you want to do cheese, you're going to have to pick plays that have the cheese already in it. You can't call, you can't hot route with a uh, route expert and stuff to all the things you want. So remember that it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to hurt the cheesy players. It'll make the, it'll make the worst players a little bit better at the game that, so the players that don't already do this actually will be better in this challenge because they already don't do it. So it kind of evens it out for them. But the more competitive players are still going to be able to do really good on this considering nothing, the more competitive players beat kids who are doing it back to them. So if they can't do it, it's a lot easier. I love up the playing ground. Now, very very worth it nfl draft packs so that's a 98 overall player for 10 games it's not bad at all and it's online because offline offline's boring as hell i like i always tell you guys i feel like it's fair for offline because a lot of people aren't good enough to get it so it's fair for it offline but this is just win 10 total games so it's very winning 10 total games is so easy because look if it's not six in a row people don't care about losing so let's say like the best player in the world could literally lose it if you score on him in the first minute he'll just quit the game and start over it's that simple why would you stay in a game that's going to be competitive is what people have the mindset of right now. So you could literally just go into a game, score right away. It doesn't work out, you quit. So simple. It's the simplest thing right now. I've even done it, not to say I like quitting, but it's simple. You go into the game, they start with the ball. If you pick them off, you score, they quit. Vice versa. Some kids will stay to the end, so sometimes you just want to leave. Like Even a game that you're going to win, you could just leave it because why just play four quarters and you can get this knocked down under two to three hours if you do it right. 
Now, is it worth it? 100%. Like I said, 98, 40k, 40k coins and 20 trophies. And it could be another 40k if you get another six wins. Because you got to get another four anyways. That's if you win it in a row. If you don't, it's whatever. If you just get one, 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 one. It'll still be about... If you just get one win every time, it'll still be 10 times five, which is 50k. So that is still actually really good now that I think about it. Did I, did I do that right? One win, 10 times, 5k. So it looks like it'd be better to get one win five times rather than two two wins four or three times, which doesn't really make sense to me. Huh. 50k, two times five, five times seven. No, it looks like it looks like it's about the same. That doesn't make sense. Whatever. You get the point. One win five times, still amount of, good amount of coins. Anyways, now for the player that I would be choosing, I did this with the other ones and it was the first three. I'm gonna give you my preference if you have the options of who I would go with for who's the most who's the most meta card right now that I would I'd rather stick with right now because personally all those cards aren't that useful. So starting from the beginning, actually start from, mm, I'll start from the top. So Richard Sherman, Delaney Walker, John Sullivan. I'm getting into John Sullivan real fast. I honestly would have might take John Sullivan just because he's a center. Who likes buying centers? You can get a end game center, probably the best center in the game or very close to it for free. I'd probably go John Sullivan. Now, Delaney Walker. If you have a, tit a Titans team team, obviously. Eh, I like him because of his run blocking and stuff, but at that point, you could just you probably have the Gronk. Delaney Walker's okay, but out of these three, it wouldn't be my choice. It would probably be John Sullivan, and I would never go Richard Sherman just because of his, us his usual speed issues. Like, even with Springs, that's still only 95. Like, he's not bad because he's so tall. Like, the height combats it, but I don't know if I'd go. I'd probably, I mean, Richard Sherman's still really good. But it's like, it's just hard when you look at this. Like, if you compare it to, let's say, Champ. Champ is not that far off except for press. And, I mean, his jumping, though. His jumping and his height's crazy. Richard Sherman's nice. I mean, if you have a 49 esteem team, I'd, I'd probably take Sherman. Just put Sprinter on and power him up. If you could power him up and put Sprinter, I'd take Sherman. If you're going to use him stock, probably not. Here, I take, I already went over this. I would take Joey Bosa or Quentin Nelson. The first one being Quentin Nelson, just because, again, Jimmy Smith, not all that useful compared to other cornerbacks. Joey Bosa is a stud, but I mean, at this point in the year, you probably have your left end. If you don't, Joey Bosa is a beast. And Quentin Nelson is a left guard. You can never go wrong with a good lineman. Now here, AP, beast of a card, but there's just too many running backs. There's Saquon Barkley, there's Ricky Williams. There's a lot of people have Christian McCaffrey when they give out the free uh, halfback for the that one house rules. A lot of people have, what else is there? I'm blanking. Oh, Barry Sanders from a while back, Chris Johnson's. There's so many opportunities to have gotten cheap running backs that like it's so like this point in the game. It's very hard to justify a running back. They all have 99 speed. I mean, it's hard to justify. Now, DeAndre Hopkins, beast of a card, powered up with training, 98 speed, but there's not much of a difference. Like if you don't have other wide receivers, yeah, sure, it's fine. But compared to Calvin, Calvin's literally the same thing, but faster. Well, they're going to be the same speed, right? Powered up. They're going to have a 95 plus sprinter. They're going to both have 98s. But Calvin's the same thing. So if you have a preference for height, which you probably do, I would go with Calvin over him. And Odell, Odell's, Odell's obviously better. Odell's the GOAT. But the only thing is the height. But the height, 5'11 to 6'1 doesn't really bother me too much. It's more of a 6'1 to 6'5. That would throw me off. Now for the final card, Roquan Smith. He's a beast. One of the best middle linebackers in the game. The only issue with him is position availability. Middle linebacker, we got Free Ray Lewis, Free Ryan Shazier. Rookie premier Roquan Smith. So the only way I justify it is if you don't have a Ray Lewis and you never did the Shazier. Beast of a card, I would 100% take him if I don't have any of those linebackers. But again, a lot of people have those linebackers because they were free. Uh, Ray Lewis is most part free besides the initial training. And Ryan Shazier, free for just playing the game. So if you have both of them, it's kind of dumb at this point to even try. But those are my picks, boys. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked... Make sure to comment 20k down below. Make sure to like the video. Get us 150 likes to hit the like goal. And let's make sure to subscribe and let's get let's get me to 2k by tonight. It would it would mean so much if we can get that done by tonight. I, I'm loving all the support. This poor has been crazy lately, boys. I'm loving it. And also the giveaway. Don't forget, go follow me on Twitter right now, poodle underscore gaming underscore, so that we can I can give you the news once I once I hit 2k. I will go pick the winner for the giveaway. And I'll, then I'll be starting the second one. I have a total of 800K. To, I'll, put, I'll put extra, so 900K. To give away, so it'll be 300, 300, 300. 
So if we could do this properly, I'll be doing well, the second hit 2K. I'll release the winners for the first one. I'll start the second one up. I'll put it on YouTube and on Twitter this time. And the third one will be another combination of the two. I'm trying to give you guys a fair chance because you guys were saying, you know, a lot in the comments, like, you know, you weren't including the YouTube guys. And you're right. You guys are where the supporters are at. I should be doing it here. So I'm doing it. But I just want to do it on YouTube at first. I don't want people to be saying, like, oh, you're doing giveaways on YouTube for, uh, you know, for, for the clout to get subs. And that's not true because I don't, I tell you guys you don't have to sub. It's not a sub to win. I'd love to say it's for my subs only, but if I said that, I'd get a bunch of unnecessary subs from people who don't actually want to be here, so I don't want to do that either. So, that was a mouthful. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Twitter, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.